<laughs> okay, so I'm home. So when I went to the grocery store, before going to the gym, um, what did I get? Eggs, spinach, broccoli, more chicken, so that I can make my broccoli and sweet potato and chicken like meal. That's the easiest thing. And I got this a couple of days ago. Um, maybe about a day or so ago. These are called veggie noodles. I'm looking up at the top. These are called veggie noodles. So I got these. Where did I get these from? I hope they're still good to eat. But it's sweet potato. So they're like noodles. So I'm going to have this with some chicken and broccoli. So I'm going to cook that up real quick. Make about two meals. And then I got to get ready for a last day of class tonight. This is what happens when you wait too late to cook something. This is not good. It's not supposed to be soft like this. So I'm not going to make this at all, but I do need a carb and a protein. So let's see what I come up with now. to go to the gym it's about 1 37 so I'm going in a little bit earlier than I normally do um, I think I'm going to be working on chest and triceps and maybe biceps or shoulders um, I'm not exactly sure with the arm thing <laughs> but I do know that I'm going to be focusing on chest today I'm um, doing a compound move I'm going to be doing bench press today so um, this is a really good way to um, build those pecs ladies lift those boobs at least lift the chest give you that nice little you guys know what i mean but <laughs> i'm gonna try this i'm not gonna try it because i've had it before this is the bpi sport one more rep um i've had this for a good while so i've been using the psychotic which you guys know in the previous videos the previous vlogs but today i'm gonna use this um and I guess I will be doing another review on this, but I do like this just as much as I like the psychotic one too. But um, yeah, I'm going to use this one today. I need it for the energy. It's just lately, I've just been, it's just the weather. I just do not like Michigan. My life is here. I just don't like Michigan. But it, it's just like this weather is just, ugh. but um, I got goals to set. I got goals to make. Um, because I am going to be doing uh, a couple of competitions in the next year. One is going to probably be a pole competition and the other one is my first NPC. So um, I'm building muscle. Oh, I can't even talk. I'm building strength and muscle for that and um, doing a lot more practice and dancing for a lot more aerial moves and things like that so that's what i'm doing so i'm getting ready to take this pre-workout the same way that i do with any other pre-workout and then i'm gonna get out of here all right guys so before i make it to the gym i'm going to the grocery store actually my kroger's is right around well not right on the corner <laughs> my kroger's is right across the street i'm looking at it so that's probably why i'm talking funny <laughs> my kroger's is right across the street from my gym that I go to so um, I'm in need of a few things for my meal prep or to make sure that I stay on track um, so that's what I'm going to go do first so I'll show you guys what I'm getting <music>
this. I wasn't sure if I was going to narrate this part, but I guess I am because I'm just going to explain some very specific things when it comes to working out your chest. And for me, um, working out your chest also includes your front delts, the front part of your shoulders. So here I'm starting with incline uh, bench press, and then I go to a, another bench press, but with dumbbells. So if you notice, my back is arched so that my upper body is placed very firmly to the uh, bench so that I'm actually squeezing and working my chest and not, um, and really just focusing on that muscle. So the best way to do this, and I learned this from a power lifter, is really arching that back and pressing that back into the uh, bench so that you can squeeze that muscle. And I was doing the dumbbell press and the um, dumbbell flies. And then here is another one that helps with the upper chest as well. Working out the very top area of the breast, we'll just say that. And I kind of like single this part out, it squeezes. So <laughs> I'm doing these presses as well, incline on a machine and at a very um, comfortable weight, challenging weight in that sense. And you guys remember this machine from doing my rear delts, but this also helps as well as squeezing those chests, those pecs together. So get a comfortable weight, a weight that's challenging enough, but comfortable and that you can complete all the sets that's necessary. Don't forget to stretch, guys. I like this stretch much better because it definitely stretches not only the front of my um, shoulders, it also stretches uh, my pecs or my chest as well. So if you guys are not familiar, I tend to do my cardio after weight training. I do at least 20 to 30 minutes. Sometimes it's hit and sometimes it's steady state meaning that I um, only do it for like 30 minutes at a high incline at 3.5 speed if I'm on a treadmill or it just all depends. Here I use my phone for interval training and it looks like I'm not moving pretty fast, but I am on an incline walking and then I do sprints or running for 20 seconds. I do wear my waist trainer. You can tell I'm a little bloated anyway because of that time of the month, but oh well. couple of days between chest day I did like a few leg and back days and then here we are today which happens to be Friday and it's Friday the 7th yes yeah, Friday the 7th so I have an engagement to go through go to tonight this evening with some friends and wanted to express some things so one earlier in the video I talked about this uh, this pre-workout right here. One more rep, one more millimeter, one more, wait, it's called one more rep. What the heck am I talking about? This pre-workout right here, I want you guys to see something. It's hard. There's nothing I can do with it. Like, 
I didn't even, seriously, I didn't even use it. I ended up going back to Psychotic because I still have it and it's still good. But I've had BPI Sport for so long and was using it, using it periodically and it's just not worth using because I can't scoop anything out of it. So this went bad too. <laughs> so, but that's okay. As long as I have um, my psychotic, see I'm throwing that away. As long as I have this one, which is my favorite, I'm okay. Now this pre-workout, I'm gonna reiterate once again, you wanna take half a scoop, maybe a quarter of a scoop. If you are not sure of your tolerance level because a full scoop scoop is very potent. So I do like it. So I actually take half some days, especially on leg day, I'll do a full cause it gets me really focused. And that's all I have to say about that one. As far as waist trainers, I ordered a few waist trainers. There are some of you who've ordered waist trainers as well, and you've probably received them by now. But I'm having some difficulties with it because of the shipping. And they're coming from China. They're being made, like made to order in a sense, which at first I thought that they were uh, mass produced or manufactured, which, you know, I'm speaking from being a fashion uh, manufacturer, just knowing that business, that's at that aspect of the business. And a few of you are waiting on waist trainers now, which they should come in pretty soon. But I am not exactly sure, you guys tell me, if I should continue to sell waist trainers because I'm having them made to order specifically for plus size women, women who are a lot larger in their waistline, I'm more concerned about them than those that are already, you know, I guess already small. I wear them, I'm already small, but I like them because I like what they do to my body. I like how they work. And we can get into another subject or another video about waist trainers, which I really am, but we can get into that at another time. But um, that's the problem I'm having. So it's, it's, it had taken longer for my very first order than I expected. So I wanted to apologize to those of you who already have your waist trainers now for how long that it took it or taken. And then for the ones that just recently um, made your orders, they'll be coming in very soon, very soon. Um, I already made the order, so I'm just waiting for it to get to me and then have it sent out to you. The problem is I actually originally wanted them to send it out to each individual client or customer of mine, but it didn't go out that way. So um, I'm still working on it, um, and I'm still working on pricing and changing up some things. So, you know, we'll see. You guys let me know. I'm here to service you in a sense. Uh, again, the next 21 day challenge will be happening January the 1st. So if you're interested, you can sign up. Um, you'll probably be, you'll be signing up for January the 1st. So you can check that out if you're interested and we'll be starting on that as well. So I'm going to be doing a 21 day challenge, uh, detox challenge. That's what it's going to be called. So it's the 21 day challenge, but it'll be a detox challenge that I want to do just to get us into the uh, new year or starting the new year off right. So please enjoy yourself. If you're not a part of the 21 day challenge right now, if you are a part of it right now, do exactly what you're supposed to do. Those of you who are my clients that I am coaching right now and you're watching this video, continue it out, continue what you can do. Um, you are okay to start the 21 day challenge for January the 1st. However, I am going to be uh, changing up your diet specifically to you for the new year. So just stay tuned for me contacting you. Before I end this vlog, um, this is what I've been doing the past couple of days. So I'm walking into my basement. I'm washing clothes right now. I'm getting ready to head out sooner or later. But this is what's been going on in my basement. <laughs> you guys see this, right? So I'm like, seriously gonna start a third channel it's gonna be a fashion channel and then over there that's just kind of i walk over there so you guys can see but this is just really the area um of where i'm going to be making wigs and doing hair videos and you guys know i record fashion videos and stuff or if i don't record it more than likely i'm taking for, i'm doing photography it's what i teach so it's, well it's a part of everything that i teach i do so much but yeah, that's what I've been doing for the past couple of days. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this room looked before, well, this basement looked before, 
um, I decided to like fix it up and I'm still in the middle of organizing things and painting and everything check out the video on my beauty channel uh, I'll make sure that that's linked at the end of this video and I will see you guys tomorrow hopefully I'm still trying to vlog I'm not good at it mainly because I do so much and then I forget to pick up the camera. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> this is the current basement situation going on down here. I've already started pulling things off the walls because I am going to paint down here.